Hi everybody, it's the Retro Yuki, and I hope you guys have been patiently waiting for more Mude content. I know it's been a while since they updated the game, so I decided to go ahead and start making some short guides for you guys on the Mude bot to get started with. Now these guides are meant to be like helpful tips and tricks as well. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and enable your notifications as I bring you guys today. Today I'm going to give you guys the beginner's guide for Mude and the way that, that these guys work is there's going to be a few number of topics that I'll be covering based on my past tutorials as well as new content has come out for the bot ever since. So today we'll be starting with the beginner's guide. So if you've never seen the Mude bot before, that is your guide for today. So basically what is the Mude bot? The Mude bot is a bot on Discord that allows you to collect or claim anime characters from from anime, cartoons, and all that good stuff using the Mude bot shown to the top right corner of your screen. And that way you guys can get some characters. You can also trade characters, claim characters. You can even get Kakara, we will talk about in a future guide. And other cool stuff about the about the game. So let's get over, let's get started with what are the basic commands. So basic commands in Moodybot allow you to claim characters or show char characters. So I have a few channels here on my test server. And we're going to go over some basic commands. For example, dollar sign $M will allow you to roll a male character. Dollar sign W We'll go for the female character or waifu. Daughter sign W. Daughter sign G is from a game. But daughter sign HG is from a game. HG meaning a husband though. Or WG is for a waifu. And that's how that goes. There's another command called dollar sign MK, which allows you to draw a already claimed character for Kakara instead of instead of claiming them. Now keep in mind that is a premium only command. Now in order to claim characters, you must react to the this button, and you have to use a heart like this. To claim a character usually okay but keep in mind you only have 30 seconds to claim a character under normal rules okay now let's go over to my act the actual server where I do all the good stuff in it is in the test server so we're good so if we could do dollar sign um a dollar sign the WG. You're going to notice that we have a character and you can claim by pressing this button according to the new updates. Okay. I'll talk about the updates later on. Now, in order to get a, a reaction, the moderator needs to use dollar sign. And under the new rule, there's a there's a few new updates for the thing. So you have to use dollar sign toggle react. And toggle react allows you to see this menu. Okay, so right now zero is the default. The hard buttons are automatically up on the board. And then you have toggle react one. Toggle React 2. Now, if you have if you have those buttons or customized buttons, then you can use them. I'll talk about those later on though. As that will be requiring moderation commands. Okay? If you want to make it simple, toggle React 2. Okay? I would say toggle React 2. But it will be seven base rolls per hour before any applied boost and boost are like anything from Kakara loot or anything like that. 
Now let's go on into the other the other major thing about Moodybot, and that is the wish list. So the wish list. Go ahead and go back to my um, test over here. So the wish list is where you can wish for characters in Moodybot, and the way you do that is you use dollar sign wish. Dollar sign wish allows you to to claim to wish a character. Now I'm going to officially change this to allow wishes and then so dollar sign wish allows you to claim to wish for a character so dollar sign wish let's say for I'm gonna say Asuna you for for whatever reason and if it's a check mark then that means your character is wished for and you can use dollar sign wish list to to see your wish list. I'm also using moderation commands on my own on my other one here. So you can use other sign wish list to um to see your um wish list. Okay now the important part about this is a few things. There's a few things you can I need to tell you about. Number one, if you have a wish list Make sure you have your notifications on because the bot will will let you know when a character on the wish list has been rolled. Once that character has been rolled, then you have a 30 second time limit like normal to get that character. Make sure you get that character early before somebody else snipes it. Speaking of sniping, there's something called toggle snipe from the moderators. And if toggle snipe is on, what happens is toggle snipe if toggle snipe is on. What happens is the players have an eight second grace period if they are if they want to give that character that means for eight seconds that character cannot be sniped from anybody else. Be very careful however because after that eight seconds that it becomes free agency period. So anybody can get that character, for example. Okay, so make sure you understand what toggle snipe is and how it works. Now that we've gone over the wish list, let's go over timers and countdowns. And the way that this works is each server, as a non-premium server that is, has a three hour window to wait for a character to be claimed. For example, if we use time up right now, or TU for short, you're gonna notice that, um, Well, you're going to notice that um, if you use TU, you're going to see the countdowns and cooldowns. So, so let's go over this. The claim reset is one hour and 41 minutes in my in my test server, but it is one hour, I believe, on my um, original server. You have nine rows left. Next row reset is in 41 minutes. And I have a like list of five, okay? If you are using the word of the the power of Kakara, you can see how much Kakara power percent you have left. It's 100% if you react to a Kakara stone, and how much Kakara you have. DK is also ready daily Kakara to get your daily Kakara each day. And if you have a vote for the Moody bot on the website, then you can use vote dollar sign vote in order to do so as well. Now, the reason why I'm going to point this out is because in this Moody bot, you need to understand the, how the claims work. So, each time you claim a character, you only have one character claim every three hours if it's non premium. Or, depending on what the server is, the admin is, will give you one hour each, each hour to get another character. Each server has a max of 10 rows to start with, but if you are a premium server for Patreon users, you get a max of at least 12 or 13. However, using Kakara Loots, which I'll talk about in a different guide, you can actually increase your max more than 10. We'll talk about that in the Kakara, the Kakara guide as well as the other features guide I'm going to be talking about later. 
So that is for something called the timers and cooldowns. Voting is every 24 hours as well as daily Kakara is every 24 hours from the time that you actually activated the command. For example, it is 11.08 a.m. here. That means the next time I can activate a vote is going to be 11.08 a.m. tomorrow morning. For example, okay? So keep that in mind. Do not be afraid to use dollar sign TU or time up to make sure you can see when you claim you can claim again. Or if you want to know if you can use Kakara power, you can also do that. Or if you want to know if you can use daughter, daily Kakara or daughter sign DK, you can also do that. Now I want to give you guys a tips and tricks section for this guide. Just remember to keep in mind that if you are using the wish list, make sure you have your notifications on. Number two, make sure that you know which character you are after and right away put them on the wish list. Daughter sign wish list and then space character name. The other thing you want to understand is make sure you also know your cooldowns. Daughter sign TU or time up to get through the cooldowns. If you have any questions about this guide or you want me to present it better, let me know and I'll be happy to do so. Our next guide we're gonna be talking about we're gonna be talking about the Kakara guide or the economy guide. We'll be touching on the Kakara system, how it works, trades and giveaways, as well as how it is used in the game. And we're also gonna talk about Daughter Side MK, which is another way you can claim a character. But you can also claim Kakara. Talk about that in our next guide. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and enable your notifications. And if you have a Patreon, which we do now have, make sure you guys link in the description below. I will be giving you a, sh a shout out in the Patreon section of the upcoming VR chat headset, VR chat highlights. So make sure you guys check that out. The next one will be for. Happy Shadina. That video, that stream will be tonight, but the highlight video might be tomorrow or Monday. So enjoy it. We'll see you guys in our next guide for Moo Day. Enjoy, everybody.